You're a parent of a kid in the intermediate age and you're thinking to yourself, I need to explain to my kid what is vaginal sex before they hear it from someone at school. That's what you're thinking, right? Kids generally hear the word sex and ask the question, what is sex, at some point during the intermediate age. Now, depending on how you've answered sex questions in the past and the type of home environment that you've created, your kid may or may not come to you at this age with the what is sex question. If you wanna be proactive and ensure that you're providing medically accurate and age-appropriate information around what is sex, you may have to plan on going to them and bringing up the topic. This video's focus is not on explaining how babies are made. My assumption here is that you've already had that conversation with your kid at some point during the primary age. If you need some guidance on how to explain that, check out this video. The intention here is to explain vaginal, anal, and oral sex in a medically accurate and age-appropriate way and introduce the concept that adults engage in those behaviors for a variety of reasons, including because it feels good. I'm Kathleen. I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you may have seen this short that I created last week. And that's what vaginal sex is. So you and dad did that like two times. Yes. When explaining vaginal sex, many parents tend to avoid talking about pleasure and remain laser focused on the whole how babies are made part. But it's an opportunity to tell your intermediate age kid that adults engage in vaginal sex with other adults for pleasure as well as for making babies. Many parents feel comfortable explaining vaginal sex for the purposes of making a baby. But like the mom in that video, many parents feel really uncomfortable saying that adults engage in vaginal sex because it feels pleasurable. Do kids understand the concept of pleasure? Yes. Removing anything sexually implicit associated with the term pleasure, kids totally know when something feels good. They love to laugh and make you smile because it feels good. They get a sense of pleasure from eating the foods they really like and playing their favorite games. They can tell you when they want to be hugged or not because they understand the feeling from it and they'll ask for a hug or want a hug when they want to feel good. Many young kids will also understand the feeling of rubbing and scratching their own body because it feels good. Remember, masturbation is quite common in young childhood because many kids like how they feel when they touch their own genitals. It feels pleasurable. So the idea of saying to your intermediate age kid that adults have vaginal sex for pleasure as well as for making babies will not be a completely foreign concept to them. They'll accept it just as like another thing they're learning that adults may do. Now, before you go explaining that sex can feel good, make sure that you've had a few previous talks. You've explained the variety of ways around how babies are made using medically accurate terms, including saying that the penis goes into the vagina. If you need help on how to say that, check out this video. Make sure you've talked about masturbation and that touching your own genitals can feel good, but nobody can ask to touch or touch your genitals. Make sure you've talked about consent and have been using consent language to ensure bodily autonomy. If you've established those talks already, then you can easily proceed to explaining what is sex in the intermediate age. But you're wondering, how do I initiate that conversation? There's two approaches here. First, you wait for your kid to come to you with the question, what is sex? And then you explain it, including the pleasure aspect. If you wanna wait, that's absolutely okay, you're the parent, but check out this video on how to explain what is sex when asked. Second approach, you go to them and initiate the what is sex talk. So how do you do that? I'd recommend using a teachable moment. So you hear the word sex in a TV show or in a song and you use that to jumpstart the conversation by saying, they're talking about sex. Do you know what that means? They'll say no, so you go on to explain at least vaginal, anal, oral sex, and then you can say something to the effect of. Just because adults can have sex doesn't mean all adults do. Some adults prefer not to have sex, while other adults choose to have sex. The majority of adults who do choose to have sex do so because it can feel pleasurable. And what that means is sex can feel good. Having sex is never something children do, but it's important to know that when you become an adult, if you choose to have sex, it should never feel painful for either adult. At this age and stage in the sex talks, what you've simply done here is introduce the concept that adults engage in sex for pleasure. And the majority of kids here will most likely think that having sex is gross and they'll find it really weird that adults like having sex. And that's a completely normal reaction for kids at this age. 
but by simply introducing this concept now, you've established a really good foundation for talking about different aspects of pleasure as they get into the middle and high school years. And lastly, you can share your family values or personal, religious, or cultural beliefs around when you believe it is acceptable to engage in sex. If you found this video to be useful, go on and give it a like and share it with another parent friend who you think may find it helpful as well. I'm Kathleen and I'll be back next week with another video, but in the meantime, you can find me on the socials.